Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about a annoyance, a major annoyance that is almost a virus and it's search conduit. Now that is probably one of the most popular annoyances that I've seen when I go around computers. Um, I'm a tech guy here in Montreal so I can tell you that uh, I've seen it a lot in the past few months and uh, basically it takes hostage your web browser it puts a little um, bar toolbar at the top of your web browsing experience gives changes your search page to something else that's search conduit um, will even interfere with your Google searches and give little ads everywhere on your computer and that is really annoying. This is a true virus in for me because it actually changes everything in your computer and um, who knows what it actually takes for information and sends it who knows where. So how do re you remove search conduit from your computer? First of all it depends on your browser and it depends on your computer um, the way it installed. If first of all the first thing you should do is actually go into your programs by going to the search in the charms bar on the right go into uninstall uninstall a program click there search for that search conduit type program in your computer and you should have something that says search protect by conduit. If you see that, click on it and click uninstall. That's the first step, but it's not going to be the only step. This one is harder to uninstall than most other pieces of crapware that I've seen. So you will want to actually uninstall this piece of software. It should be removed here. It will probably pop up a web page saying, okay, uh, you sure you want to remove it. But once it's gone from the list of programs, you'll have another step. If you're in Internet Explorer, one thing that you'll want to do is go back to your home page that you had before. And to do that, you'll click on the little tool icon, go into Internet Options, and make sure that your home page is back on that little option page there. So you'll type your favorite home page in that little box. If you're in Google Chrome, you will have to do the same probably. And you will have to uh, check, make sure that the search conduit thing is still not there. So you see the page is still there. So you'll go in the upper right, click on the little lines and there you will go into your options. What you'll need to do is first of all check what at the start screen what pages so you'll click to the pages there you'll remove search conduit and put back the page that you want to use and click OK or press enter and click OK. The other thing that you'll want to check for is for extensions on the left side. Make sure that search conduit is removed. So you'll click for that little um, trash can on the right side for conduit and you'll remove it. And you'll also remove the value apps with the trash can and take it out. Close your Chrome browser and hopefully things are going to get back to normal after you've done that. Now it's not completely over because if you want to make sure that this thing doesn't come back to your computer I suggest that you go into the Malwarebytes website go to www.malwarebytes.org click the free version of this piece of software and install it on your computer. 
If you're using Firefox, you will have to go into your extensions also and remove the search conduit extension stuff that you see. So install this piece of software. I accept. And once it's installed and updated, you will scan your computer with um, this software. You can uh, just take out a little check mark to enable the Ulti Malware Pro so that it doesn't annoy you after 30 days. This is a free piece of software, by the way. And the pro version is a paid version of the software. So it's going to upload its program. It's going to uh, upgrade its program and put updates. Once it's done, just do a quick scan. You don't have to do the uh, full scan. It's not necessary with Search Conduit. But you'll do a quick scan. And type the scan button here. This program will find all of the leftovers from Search Conduit. And if you've been exposed to any other types of threats, it's actually going to find that at the same time. Malware Bytes is one of those really, really good malware programs you should always have on every Windows computer. And uh, I actually tell all of the, my clients to uh, scan their computers at least once a week with Malware Bytes to make sure that everything's okay. When you've been exposed to a certain number of threats, um, very often what I see is uh, many software together. For example, my PC backup bundled with um, UniBlue's um, Speed Up My PC, bundled with uh, WAJAM, W-A-J-A-M. That's another uh, nuisance. And Search Conduit. You will probably have many, many, many files show up here that you'll want to uninstall. The question I got asked all the time is, well, if these programs are nuisance, why doesn't the antivirus tell you about it? Well, the way they install is a nuisance. The way they install is not very nice. But technically, these are not viruses. Technically, these are legit software from companies. Unfortunately, they take over your computer, change all of the settings in your computer, and that really, really, really gets the annoying part. If you're wondering, okay, it installed by itself. No, it did not. You did click something. If you have Search Conduit or Protect by, pr protect by Search Conduit in the uh, uninstall programs, and if your pages have changed, that has been installed by you. How? Probably with maybe an update to a software. More chances are that you try to um, download a software from the internet. And instead of downloading from the good web page, you download it from a third party uh, company that also bundled all sorts of crapware with the program. One of the um, examples I can give is Google Alert. If you want to get Google Alert, make sure you are at the Google Alert web page. Um, I believe it's alert.google.com. A lot of people type Google Alert in the Google search. And what happens is that at the top, sometimes there's ads that will show up as the first um, searches. And the thing is, is that those ads that you have at the top, they will let you download Google Alert, yes, but they also will put crapware at the same time. It's kind of a diverted way of infecting your computer with some crap stuff by giving you the software that you are searching for. So um, if if you know, companies work like that. I really, really hope nobody buys their software because that's the worst way of actually doing business, I believe. And you know what? Taking control of your computer and um, just changing everything is really a bad way. And I don't think companies that do that are and should continue. Uh, these are really, really bad. So you let the uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware program scan. And uh, what's nice about this is that not only will it remove what's left of the uh, search conduit, 
but if you've been exposed to any other malware you will see it show up here in this list now don't be surprised I've seen computers that actually had objects detected um, objects detected at 100 200 500 uh, my record is a thousand and um, mostly from all the leftovers of these little crapware programs in computers also a lot of reports of uh, you know all the series of programs like a speed up my PC um, the uh, search conduit the what jam the my PC backup when all of that is on your computer the first thing you'll notice is that your computer becomes extremely slow extremely slow so um, having a good clean of all of this software from your computer is a great great idea as of late 2013 we're in uh, we're November 21st today and I can say that as of today this is probably the most annoying stuff actually on computers at this time and a lot a lot of people are actually getting this stuff on their computers so um, be careful where you get your software on the web be careful at what you do on the web and remember that these are installed by you meaning that you did something to have that in your computer. The malware bytes uh, quick scan can uh, range from anywhere from about five minutes on really fast computers with not too many software installed to well over half an hour, 45 minutes on some machines. If you're using Internet Explorer a lot, I would suggest that you go and delete the cache and temporary internet files before you do the scan because if you don't, well, you're malware bytes will be stuck doing all of that scan of all of these files for nothing so uh, that's one if you want to speed it up uh, delete all the temporary internet files left over by your web browser it's really gonna make this scan much much faster I've uh, suggested that you do just a quick scan for these uh, pieces of software. Of course, you've seen that there's a full scan available. Um, the full scan can take hours to do. So um, if you ever want to really, really make sure nothing's left everywhere in your computer, of course, you can use that uh, full scan on the computer. Once it's done, you click OK. You'll see the number of objects. So I've got 25, which is not too bad considering that I've had all the pieces of software that of crapware that I see usually. Click Show Results. Make sure you have little check marks on all of your little details. Everything that it finds, you will need to put these check marks. Why the check marks aren't there uh, for pop? optional it because some software has that type of adware on it and you might be using that software so since it's not totally uh, true here you've got rogue windows antivirus that it found also together so it's gonna find all sorts of little thing uh, of things here so um, here it says okay rogue windows antivirus files it actually wants to uh, delete my uh, Windows videos, which I will not. So uh, you see it detects by name also. So make sure that you check correctly what it finds and uh, make sure that uh, you remove everything it sees. And once you have put check marks in front of everything, all you'll need to do is remove selected it's gonna ask you to restart your computer so you'll click yes to restart I will click no for the time being and once it's restarted you should be just fine with everything in your computer 
If you enjoy our videos, uh, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to talk about, let us know. And hopefully, you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.